Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can enter employee payroll information when you add new employees to the employee list within the new employee window that appears. You can also edit an existing employee's payroll data by using the Edit Employee window if the payroll info changes. In either the New Employee or Edit Employee windows, you can click the Payroll Info tab that appears at the left side of either window to enter or edit the payroll information. On the Payroll Info tab, select the Payroll Schedule for the employee from the Payroll Schedule drop-down menu. Enter the type of pay the employee receives by selecting a Compensation Payroll item from the Item Name column that appears within the Earnings section. To the right of the selected item, you can enter the amount of compensation into the Hourly slash Annual Rate column. Enter any additions, deductions, or company contributions into the Additions, Deductions, and Company Contributions section by selecting the name of the desired payroll item from the Item Name column. Enter the amount for each item entered, as well as the annual limit for each if needed. If the employee uses time data entered into the weekly timesheet or the time slash enter single activity windows to record their hours worked, select the use time data to create paychecks checkbox at the bottom of the tab. If the employee is covered by a qualifying pension plan, check the employee is covered by a qualifying pension plan checkbox. Then set the employee's payroll tax data by clicking the Taxes button to open the Taxes dialog box. Enter the employee's payroll tax withholding information into the Federal, State, and Other tabs. Note that the Other tab is used for any special state or local payroll tax information required. Now after you have entered their payroll tax information, click the OK button within the Taxes dialog box to return to the New Employee or Edit Employee window. To enter the employee's sick and vacation time, click the Sick slash Vacation button within the Payroll Info tab to open the Sick and Vacation dialog box. In the Sick and Vacation sections, use the Accrual Period drop-down to select how the employee accrues sick and vacation time. Enter the number of hours to accrue, the maximum number of hours to accrue, when to begin accruing hours, as well as if and when the number of hours are to be reset by entering the desired values into the fields available. After you have finished entering the sick and vacation information for the employee, click the OK button within the Sick and Vacation dialog box to return to the New Employee or Edit Employee window. When you are finished setting up the employee's payroll data, click the OK button within either the New Employee or Edit Employee windows to close the window and save your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.